In boxing, we often talk about pound for pound rankings. It essentially means pound for pound when looking and comparing the weights proportionately who is the best boxer in the world. Why don't we do this for basketball? I do not know. But today, I'm gonna give you the five best pound for pound basketball players of all time. At number five, we have Michael Jordan. I know this is a bit of a stretch, I know he's 6'6", six, six, like 216 pounds, I think, I think. But that's towards the end of his career, he got a bit more heavily, built on a bit more muscle. But Michael Jordan, for the majority of his career, was around 205 pounds. And was a pretty good basketball player, I will say. He's one of those players that used his speed and his shiftiness to make him the greatest player of all time. He had a phenomenal handle, he had phenomenal shooting, he was smaller than the players he went up against. He was guarded by players 6'8 and 6'9, players that played a power forward and small forward position, while he was more of a swing man, you know, the shooting guard slash small forward position. Michael Jordan is the greatest player of all time, whilst being only 6'6. And it's a lot easier for players to be taller. For example, the taller of positions, for example, Larry Bird being a 6'9 player. For example, a 6'9 point guard in Magic Johnson. For example, a 6'9 player in LeBron James. Usually the players above 6'7 and 6'8 are the greatest players of all time. But Michael Jordan proved that he didn't have to be big to be the greatest. At number four, I have John Stockton. John Stockton is a big conspiracy theorist. I get it, people don't like him these days. But we have to also go inch for inch, whoa. Pause. But we have to take into account height as well as weight and John Stockton, for a guard even, is undersized and underweighted. He played at around 170 pounds and measured in at six foot one. That is near enough my height and near enough my weight. Maybe a little bit lower in weight to be honest. John Stockton was shifty and one of the greatest passers we will ever see in years to come. He has the assist record, he has the steals record, he's in the NBA 75. There's not much more you can ask for when talking about point guards than John Stockton. He might not have won anything, but his longevity and his sheer superiority to the rest of the competition proves why he is one of the greatest point guards of all time. And for me, pound for pound, the fourth best player of all time. At number three, we have a player who's a little bit taller than John Stockton, a little bit, a little bit heavier than John Stockton, but he's a player that is a lot better than John Stockton. Play the same position, we have the greatest shooter of all time, Stephen Curry. Although Stephen Curry is measured in at 6'3 and is below a 200 pound weight, he is a point guard and he's undersized in some sense. People often claim there's a small backcourt whenever he played with John Jordan Paul as well. People expect their point guards nowadays to be 6'4, 6 6'5. And with Stephen Curry being 6'2", 6 6'3", 6 it's a bit of a shift and change. And he's sometimes surrounded by players a lot taller than him. But it does help with the small ball play of the Warriors. Despite his height and despite his weight, Stephen Curry is legitimately one of the greatest players of all time. And by the time he retires, could well be the greatest point guard of all time. I know he did say in Gilbert Arena's podcast that he was the greatest point guard of all time. But for me... I'm just, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why I don't say it's Stephen Curry. If I think about it, really, it should be Stephen Curry. But I don't want to say it before he retires. When the second he retires, come back here and I'll tell you Stephen Curry is the greatest point guard of all time. At number two, we have another of the greatest point guards of all time. Obviously, you're going to have a lot of short players because this is the NBA. So if you want to be the pound for pound greatest, be smaller and be good. And you'll probably be pound for pound greatest. At number two, we have Isaiah Thomas. Not Isaiah Thomas, the 5'11 player, although he is pound for pound amazing, but we're talking about Isaiah Thomas from the Detroit Pistons. Measuring in at around six foot, this man here is truly a phenomenal basketball player. One of the greatest handles of all time, one of the greatest passers of all time. Averaged 19 and nine across his entire career. Part of the dynasty in the bad boy Pistons. He's a finals MVP. He was a part of one of the teams that Michael Jordan struggled for years to overcome. We often negate the impact of Isaiah Thomas, but Isaiah Thomas is truly one of the greatest players of all time. And at his peak, at his time, he was probably the greatest ball handler of all time. We didn't see a better ball handler until our number one player comes in. And at number one, we have the great Allen Iverson, one of my favorite players of all time. This man here is arguably, I, I, I would argue Kyrie's the best, but arguably, 
Allen Iverson is the greatest ball handler of all time. Despite only being six foot one and playing shooting guard, despite being small, despite not weighing much, he went toe to toe with some of the best. His finals run was phenomenal. His his play, his MVP run was phenomenal. Allen Iverson is truly one of the greats in the NBA and I think people forget that because he was on some bad teams that he truly wasn't great. He's, he was amazing. Even on the Denver Nuggets, he was a pretty good player. And his fall off might have been sharp, it might not have been great. When he went back to the Sixers, he might have been lackluster. But Allen Iverson is for me, without a doubt, the greatest pound for pound basketball player of all time. Unless if you count me because I am the greatest screener under 6'1". I'm telling you that now. 100%. Subscribe.